department is constantly evaluating and assessing all the county roads within the county to make sure we know what condition they're in. And recently, about a year ago, Brown Road was determined to be one of the ones that needed to be addressed, especially with the heavy level of traffic that we have. So Brown Road that we're paving is about just under three miles long. Traditionally, this would have taken about 3,500 tons of asphalt to do. But with this method, we're still using the same amount of asphalt. With the hot in place recycle, we're able to save about 20% over a traditional mill and fill operation. It'd be a good time for us to go see the equipment. There are about seven or eight pieces of equipment that are key to the operation. This is the recycling repaver machine. Here we see the first step where the asphalt's actually dumped out of the dump truck into the preheater, and it's gonna be conveyed back to the next piece in the chain. What you see right here at the bottom is heat shields for the propane-based heater that they're using to get the asphalt up to about 250 degrees so it's pliable enough to scarify and recycle. So the way this worked was the work started at Clemson Boulevard, went down all the way to Concord, and then they basically just turned around and headed back the other direction. But the entire time, anytime they were in one lane, the other lane was open for traffic so that hopefully we can get people through as quickly as possible. So this whole machine is actually about 58 feet long and can do about a mile a day of reclamation. The asphalt that came through the first machine is dumped here in this hopper and transported to the back of this machine. This is the new virgin asphalt. They've got a secondary heater here, ensuring that the temperature is still staying where it should be around 250 degrees. And then behind that, there's the scarifier teeth that are going about an inch down the existing asphalt and breaking that up so that it can be recycled into new paper. And wind row it together, mix it with some rejuvenating liquid, and then make sure it's mixed thoroughly. And then there's a screed that puts that material out. And then a secondary screed behind that that we can go take a look at that lays the new asphalt down. Anderson County was fortunate to be able to get these guys out here. It's a very innovative process. There's only two companies in the world that do this. We were able to save 20% overall on the project over a traditional mill and fill operations. We were excited to be a part of it and we hope to bring them back in the future.